McLaren is synonymous with racing for those in the know, but in case you didn't know, they are to Formula One racing what Jeep is to SUV. McLaren is historically um, a racing car company. Um, it's the most successful racing car company in the world as far as the different race series that it's competed in and won. So Formula One, Can-Am in North America, IndyCar in North America, Le Mans, um, sports car racing, we've won them all. No other racing team in the world has done that. McLaren has just announced a new independent car company and they unveiled their new Ferrari killer at a small but elegant event in New York. Pretty cool, huh? This is the new McLaren. The McLaren is building a new car company as well as a new car and that means a dealer network, it means a new factory and all that goes into launching a car company and I, I really can't remember the last time somebody built a brand new car company with a, from a clean sheet of paper. The reason I say Ferrari killer is that the McLaren is aimed straight at the prancing horse. Lamborghini, which their designer referred to as origami, is also in their sights. The 12C, which is formally called the McLaren MP4 12C, will be priced between $225,000 and $250,000. For a quarter of a million bucks, you get a usable trunk in the front of this mid-engine rear-drive car and you can use the new McLaren as a daily driver. This is a car that you can take to the track from a performance standpoint, but it's also a car you can drive from here to the Hamptons and have a very smooth, comfortable ride. So we feel it offers something kind of for everybody. They haven't announced gas mileage for the 600 horsepower McLaren, but they say it should be class leading. In a class that includes some of OPEC's best friends, we'll have to wait until the EPA posts its figures to see if wealthy tree huggers will have a seizure or a test drive. The engine is a 3.8 litre twin turbo. Um, it means that it's got the most power in its segment, 600 horsepower, but also it'll be the most fuel efficient and the lowest CO2 emissions. So if you take each horsepower, if you take each of those 600 horsepower through CO2 emissions, it is actually the most fuel efficient car on the planet as far as um, putting out how much CO2 per horsepower. Speaking of figures, McLaren is expected to rocket from 0 to 60 in around 3 seconds, according to their execs. That speed will probably give you a spinal adjustment. But as the economy adjusts, is this really such a great time to be starting a new car company from the tarmac up? It's probably the best time to be doing it. Um, it's, uh, during the, the, the hard economic times we've had in the last two or three years, we've been in the fortunate position of developing a road car. Um, our competitors have been in a, a slightly more difficult situation of having cars coming into dealerships, having inventory that they have to deal with, whereas we've been in a very clear position of spending time engineering and designing um, what we think will be the best sports car in the world. So basically you've been sketching and welding while they've been trying to figure out how to sell cars? Exactly, almost perfect timing. So, And it also means we've been able to go out and speak to the best dealers, the best car dealers in the world. We've, we've literally had hundreds of car dealers come to us to ask if they can represent McLaren. So we've been able to cherry pick the best in the world. So we've got um, initially 10 in North America and we, we're absolutely convinced they are the best 10 car dealers in the country. The carbon fiber chassis is indicative of McLaren's almost bulimic obsession with weight, even down to things like door handles. So, you know, dude, where's my door handle? <laughs> there is no door handle. It's sensors. And the reason why is because door handles add weight. So McLaren's obsessed with weight, weight savings, and we were able to eliminate door handles and save weight. The McLaren 12C even has their own sports car version of a police dashboard cam. The cameras in front and back not only help you park, but can also record your day at the track or wherever else you happen to be driving. One note to purists, McLaren says they will not make the 12C with a manual transmission, only an automatic with paddle shifters. They hope to attract not only the Ferrari and Lamborghini crowd, but as they put it, the sophisticated buyers of Aston Martin and Bentley. The McLaren 12C should be available for purchase in summer of 2011 through a handful of hand-picked dealerships around the world. I'm Grant Winter, reporting from New York.